So the camera's over here. So I have to remember that I'm not talking to the little circle part where you press your finger. I'm talking to the little bitty circle part there. So, all right, y'all. Yeah, pack of chips. Let's see what we got. Picks. All right. All right. It's not everything. That is everything in the box. And more bubble wrap, which we will definitely use. All right. So let's see. Here I have our, wait, oh, let me get my pack and slip. It's always good and useful to look at your pack and slip and to look at everything that you have and compare and contrast just to make sure you have everything that you ordered. Um, and so you can immediately, you know, send them a message be like, hey, I got my shipping today and this wasn't included. All right, so I ordered this syringe and some pipettes because I'm gonna be doing lip gloss. And let me make sure, well, I already have it. So they wouldn't get, they, rarely give you things that aren't on the packing slip they more than likely might leave something off but you probably not gonna get nothing extra um so yep syringe and pipe pets that's there i only ordered one of those and let's see oh my gosh y'all i'm so excited so these look like my pretty these are my pigments, y'all, and my mica that I got because I wanted to try to make some neon body butters because oh, apparently people are into like neon stuff. Um, but I also wanted to just make some pretty glosses. Y'all look, I'm so excited. They're so pretty. So I have these things that I'm gonna be experimenting with. So I have those. And let's see, and I see them on our pack and slip so that's good i'm gonna put those back in there because, because i don't have a place for all this stuff yet and so i don't want to lose it so i'm gonna put it back in the pack y'all this one is so pretty this one is the red oak and it's like changing colors y'all this is gonna be so cute on the lips so that's that and let's see what else do I have. So here, oh, these are the lip gloss tubes. So I did order some lip gloss tubes because I might need to fill them in to something. So let's see, I'm just gonna open a small little hole right here on the side so we can see what we working with. See what we working with. Oh, okay, so those are the tabs. And what do the bottoms look like? Oh, so these are only tops. That I don't want to touch the bottom of that top. And the bottoms are on this side here. Sometimes I'm kind of British, I'm sorry. So let's look. I'm trying to open this up, y'all, so y'all can see what they look like. All right, okay, all right, okay, cool. All right, so here's the bottom. Ooh, and here's the top. And so it goes like that. 
And these are gonna be so cute with the logo. Love it. You remember that show on uh, PBS called um, Dragon Tales? Anyways, there was a dragon. I think it was a two-headed dragon and they used to always be like, love it. Anyways, I used to love watching Dragon Tales. That was one of my favorite shows. I didn't watch it by myself. I watched it with my siblings. I'm rambling. Okay, so that's that one and I auto, I also ordered another type of tube as well, just so I can have a variety. And if I wanted to, you know, do different sets or something like that, whatever. To be honest, I was just ordering shit. You show, you know, guys, you know, when you're really creative and you just be like, you know what? Let me just order stuff. And, and that's kind of what I did. I was just ordering stuff. Um, and my cousin, Bethany, was like, but I was like, Bethany, I'm so sorry. And then, y'all, you know what else? I was just ordering stuff, and then I ordered it, like, on Klarna. And you know, Klarna is so beneficial. I only paid, like, 10 bucks. You know, and then I have to pay, like, 10, you know, a few more bucks. Oh, you know, guys, I lied. These are actually the same ones. <laughs> but these are really cute. I like that. Hopefully they feel well, because I've been reading and watching some videos and people are talking about how like, oh, it doesn't feel right. And then the pop, there's no squeezy pop or whatever. I'm sure I'll find out what they were all talking about. Anyway, moving on. We have this package here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's open it up and see what it is. All right, so here we have, these look like earplugs. But I didn't order any earplugs. And I'm not sure who's calling me, so I'm gonna stop this. All right, guys, and we're back. Sorry about that. That was someone calling from the White Label Expo, which we're going to be at um, August 29th through September 3rd. The Expo is September 1st and September 2nd. Business conferences, we love them. Anyway, so when we last spoke, I was saying that I ordered these things well, I have these things and they look like earplugs, but they're definitely not earplugs. And then I realized that they must be the stopper things that everyone keeps talking about for these other, um, these other mini bottle glosses that I'm gonna be making. So that's what this is. Excited about that. Oh, don't fall little plastic baggy because I'm gonna keep using you. And I'm gonna put that back here. And I like how everything is individually wrapped. It's really secure. You can tell like they spend a lot of time making sure, you know, everything is sanitized and whatnot. So I'll definitely make sure when I'm utilizing these things that my hands are sanitized, that I'm using gloves. We always take those precautions here at Perceptual Bliss. Um, and let's see. So let me keep this with that because I won't lose nothing. And so this and this goes with that. Got it. All right, moving on to the more fun stuff now, ladies and gentlemen. Here are our flavoring oils and our uh, lip colors. So I ordered some flavoring oils because, you know, when people put on lip gloss, they put it on their lips and it don't be tasting like nothing. <laughs> so I wanted my lip gloss to taste like something. So I ordered some flavoring oils. And I, let's see which ones. Okay, and the lip color kit that I bought for, I have this whole envision in my mind that I'm gonna do like a fall collection um, of lip stains. Or, no, not lip stains. I'm gonna do like a fall collection of like lip glosses. And so the lip color set that I got was the chocolate liquid lip set. And it comes with chocolate brown. It comes with the roasted chestnut. Oops. It comes with log cabin. It comes with a black and it also comes with a bronze pearl. So this is the set that I got. And y'all already, I can smell these uh, flavoring oils and I'm like, I want a cinnamon roll. So this first one I have is cinnamon roll. No, isn't that gonna be good for the fall? The second one I have is the chai tea or chai tea, however you pronounce C H A I. 
and then I had the spice chocolate and then I have vanilla so yeah vanilla is pretty simple but not however um you know I can make a vanilla kind of latte flavor lip oil or I can make a cinnamon and vanilla but you know what I'm saying so I got these because they can specifically be kind of combined together to make different flavors um and and scents so they are flavoring oils and they say that they are unsweetened flavoring oils are fragrant unsweetened additives which can be mixed drop by drop to any cosmetic lip formula and I actually found out y'all that these things aren't sweetened um and when the, your lip glosses and things are sweetened and so like for instance if i made a lip gloss with the cinnamon bun oil and i didn't and i used like some sort of sweetener in my mind my brain would be telling me that this tastes like cinnamon roll but it really doesn't it actually just tastes like sugar but because you're smelling the cinnamon roll your olfactory senses are working y'all i pulled that word out of my butt okay i used to be bio pre-med but anyways so like your olfactory senses are working as well but your taste senses are working together so you're smelling the cinnamon roll and you're eating the sugar and even though they're not together uh physically you know they're combined together so it makes it seem like you're actually having a cinnamon roll but really it's just you're tasting just the sugar and when they combine together it makes it like this whole experience i learned that on someone else's youtube video um and i'm going to have to decide whether or not i want to add any type of sweetener to it or not um because that's not important to me, but you know, if you're looking your lips all day and your lips down, you know, at least it'll be a nice, nice surprise. And so last but not least, let me make sure all of those flavoring oils are already right. Vanilla, cinnamon, all right, so all of those right. And then last but not least, I have our um, lip gloss base that we're gonna be using. Uh, which is the uh, Vertigel base. And of course, we're going to add our own oil to it just to kind of, you know, smooth it out and make it a nice and wonderful uh, formulation. But to start, we have our bases here and these are vegan and completely cruel-free. And you can use them in lip gloss, hair gels, and facial moisturizer. And you can add texturizing oils and waxes but you know what i just learned something because i did not know that these could be used on facial 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 moisturizer so i might look into some recipes for that so y'all that is my tkb trading haul video this is what we got unboxed and i can't wait to come back with the video to show you guys some examples of the lip glosses that i have created please stay tuned to find out, I don't know why I'm doing so many movements with my arms right now. All right, I'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in with Chats with Cat. Enough about.